days. The First Lady arrives here in Copenhagen tomorrow and will immediately go to work pressing the flesh with IOC voters. To know that the President, the First Lady, and Oprah, they, they appreciate what we do for um, our sport is really neat. A new charm offensive with a high-powered weapon in a race just about everyone believes is still too close to call. You have to be have confidence. Now, you can't be cocky or anything. You have to have confidence. Reporting from Copenhagen, Phil Rogers, NBC5 News. Our thanks to Phil for that good news tonight. Well, here in Chicago, six people were arrested after protesters in the Daly Plaza defaced Olympic banners on the Picasso statue. NBC5 Lauren Jiggetts is live from 50 West Washington with that part of the story. Lauren? Allison, there were a few hundred protesters outside City Hall earlier this afternoon, all protesting peacefully against Chicago's Olympic bid. And it all remained peaceful until a small group of people came out here to Daly Plaza. <laughs> As workers prepare to dress the Picasso statue on Daly Plaza in 2016 here, a group of people opposed to Chicago's bid began protesting in front of the statue. But quickly, that protest turned destructive. The protesters threw paper from the decorations into the eternal flame and scuffled with a police officer. Six protesters were taken into custody. The great thing about this country is that we have a, a right to freedom of speech. At the same time, there is a line you cannot cross. And unfortunately, that line was crossed tonight. Earlier, the protest was more peaceful, with opponents arguing outside City Hall that the games would be too expensive at the cost of public services like schools and hospitals. The history of the modern Olympics, really over the last 20 years, is one of uh, displacement of poor residents, cost of runs, and civil rights violations. Bruce Bailey was also outside with the protesters, but he was in support of the games seeing he had hundreds of people come up to him voicing their support. I think it would be great for our city. It's going to bring in tons and tons of money and people, and it's going to create seven years of excitement. Now, those decorations were not seriously damaged, and the Picasso statue is now wearing that 2016 gear. Again, six people were taken into custody, and they are facing felony charges at this hour. Reporting live outside Daily Plaza, I'm Lauren Jiggetts, NBC5 News. Rob, back to you. All right, thank you, Lauren. President Obama...